all right hey what is up guys welcome back to another video today we have released server gui version 3 okay so server gui version 3 has added a lot of updates which makes this version way way better so first we've obviously fixed some of the bugs so the main bugs have been fixed is uh, those entities, you might have saw those NPC dummies floating around. Maybe if you use Toolbox or something, you could see them. Uh, that was a big problem. Uh, a lot of lag. So you guys need to update as soon as you can to get out of that version. So version 3 fixes that. We have new time modes. So the GUI will only be open for 30 seconds. You can cl you can make that time longer or you can make that time shorter. Uh, it would automatically close. So that's just, just in case um, someone says AFK in your GUI or something happens and blah 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 so that that NPC will automatically die and boom you have a new GUI so basically now you can see we have a banner which does look really cool so this banner is actually a one-time thing so you can only have one banner per your whole world so make it like a good like realm banner so I was thinking so for my faction server I'll probably put Binocraft up here so every time someone goes to the GUI they can see Binocraft, and then they scroll down, and this would be a little footer. So you guys can put footers into your GUI, uh, wherever you want. So you can just go change, oh, you can change the text in your GUI, and also fix the huge bug, player uh, things. So you know how when you click on a player, you can't exit, exit the GUI. Yep, big problem, we fixed it. So open up, there we go, talk, close GUI. So now you can close the GUI on and any player, so that's... Um, I don't have, actually have an alt, but I just I was opening it myself so you can actually see that. So if I click on a player, um, I should be able to exit the GUI. And that's just using an on join to give them a change dialog function. So that's adding, that's been fixed. So we have two fixes so far and banners added and footers added. So also what we've added is new commands you can run with this. So basically now inside of these, you can run more complex commands with greater like functionality which allows you to warp sh spawn shop crates and also add sellables which will basically summon so basically like it's a structure void it's a structure uh it's literally a structure file but the structure file doesn't actually exist which is very very weird it's hard to explain but um i'll just show you guys this for right now so I don't know if you guys already know, but I'll show you guys how to actually change the GUI. So I'm going to zoom in here, pull it over here. So you can see these are the new files. So we have a little bit more to look at. Uh, we have the dialog entities items files. So items files hasn't been changed much, but this is going to be opening up your GUI, which then runs to the NPC dummy, which then opens up your GUI. So if you want to change how long it takes to actually kill the NPC which is 30 seconds right here so I can change it to a whole minute and that means it won't be dying to a whole minute but we're gonna keep that 30 seconds so nothing else you'd really want to change in this file um, but NPC screen okay so this is what's gonna be on the player every time a new player joins so if you want to change this you can change however you want so right now I just have it saying close GUI which will literally, so every time a player joins, they're going to get this command on them. So they're going to get slash dialog change add s, add s, uh, oh, add s, and then the NPC name, which is player NPC screen. So there we go. And that just changed my NPC screen. So now it's just this. So you can do anything you want with that. So if you want to change this to add, um, let's say, trade money. But remember, you can't run commands off of this guy. So it's that's why we've that was the old version one. This is a new version, which you will be able to add commands. So you can change the description. You can change the name wherever you want. But make remember, you can't run commands off of the player. So next, we have GUI. This will be your main GUI that opens up, which you guys should know how to change that. If you don't, go watch the old videos, uh, NPC version, version 2 and 1, which I've discussed how to do that. So you can see we have the warps, uh, warp spawn shop, crates, home hub, and close UI. You can only have six buttons. Next version will have more buttons, and we have something wor someone working on um, 
the but okay so you know how hive has those really nice guis the ui yep we're getting that so make sure to stay tuned for version 4 where you're going to have customizable buttons and it's not just going to be one set button for the whole world you're actually going to be able to put custom icons for each button very very cool so uh if you want to change how this looks basically just go in here uh we're going to change the warps to let's say i don't know you can change it to whatever you want and basically, this is opening up GUI page one, which GUI page one is right down here. And this is telling you to warp spawn, shop, crates, home, hub, close GUI. Make sure to always run to add initiator, never run to add S. But when you're opening up a GUI, always run add S at initiator. That will fix all your stuff. So this GUI is very cool. Hopefully you guys download it. It will be in the description where you guys will go on to MCPDO. I mean, I'm, well, MCBE Hub. So if we go to MCB Hub, you can see the server GUI download, which you can download all versions. So we have version 3, 2, and 1 up here. So version 3, version 2, and version 1. Uh, always download version 3. Uh, I don't know why you would want to download version 1. But yeah, download version 3. It will take you straight to Link for Ties, which some of you guys have been telling me, how do I get through this? So what we're going to do is we just free access of ads. Discover interesting articles. Okay. Press X. Wait 10 seconds. So the only reason why we have link for ties is just so um, it doesn't make me doing all this work for nothing. So it just helps help support the creator for making all this stuff. So we discovered interesting articles. Press continue. Okay. Now this is the hard part. So you guys might not know what to do. So what we do, download this. Some... Um, saying your firewalls don't support it but it should i don't know why it's happening but what we do is we open this up run might look a little sketch i know so we run this uh okay i don't know why they make it look so sketchy but it is so we press next skip all and download let's so actually take the media fire and boom you got to download it's pretty simple so now you can delete that exe file if you want. I don't know if me Windows protection is stopping you. You always can just uh, tell them to ignore that file if you ever want to download that. So whenever you're downloading this GUI, make sure to always download the behavior and res. Uh, you only need to download the MC pack, but some mobile players, I don't know, use the .zip, so I leave those in there if you need it. So make sure to always download the, dot the res and behavior, or it's not going to work. And you add those to your world. Just how I did in here. So I'll show you. GUI testing. So you what we see we got the res right here. And we got the behavior. Straight added to the world. That's all you're gonna have to do. And you press play game. And that's basically how you can install the GUI. Uh some questions have been asking that. Um yeah. So make sure to join the Discord if you need anything. So we have the Discord right here. This will take you straight to MCB Hub Discord. Make sure to join this. Uh, this will get you updates and GUI updates for all everything we have. So if we go down, we can now see uh, GUI updates. Whoa, Realm GUI. Yep. So this is gonna allow you to see, and we have you have early access to all the new updates coming out in the Realm GUI. So just head over here, get to the Realm. Oh. I'll leave a link for the Discord in the description where you can get the Discord. And yeah, it'd also be on mcbhub.com. Just press connect and it'll take you straight to the GUI. And that's going to be all for this video. Make sure you guys go into the description, download the GUI, join the Discord, and make sure to get this GUI in your world. Um, also, you guys do not need to leave me credit. I'm good. With, I'm giving you guys full open source. Uh, I'm good about credit and stuff. So just download this, put it on your world, and have a great day. I'll see y'all.